Hello everyone, welcome to Our God Lives Underground. This was made as part of Ludum Dare, and as such it's totally free to play, so I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. I've played it for about 30 seconds and already I think it's kind of amazing. It is really, really, really cool. Uh, it actually, the visual style of it reminds me a lot of Teleglitch, which is a game that I really liked. It's top down. And I think it's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 3D. But it's just been kind of filtered through this super pixely sort of a filter. But it definitely has dynamic shadows, as you can see. And it's got a really cool control scheme. It's really atmospheric and creepy. As you're about to see when we go down here. Check this out. Is that freaking cool or what? Yeah, this is really freaking creepy. I love the super pixely look and the dynamic lighting, and it's just so atmospheric. I mean, just think about what's happening. Our god lives underground is what it's called, and I just went underground, so apparently I'm going to meet our god. Oh my god, those footstep sounds are amazing. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, look at how much fine detail there is in the camera controls, too. The further you move your, uh, your pointer away, the more the camera will just kind of gently slide over to it. Super cool. I just, where am I? What's down here? What am I doing down here? Almost looks like kind of ritualistic. This chamber. Whoa. Yeah, the lighting is just amazing. those creatures? That is a creature, isn't it? <laughs> They're scared of the light. Makes me wonder, if I didn't have a light, what would happen? Are they just passively observing me? Trying to see if I'm a danger? Or do they want to kill me any second, but they're just scared of the light? Like, look at this one behind me. Every time I move away from it, it advances a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna keep going. I almost wanna... Yeah, yeah, they're following me. I almost wanna back one into a corner and just touch it to see what happens, but I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I love the camera obstructions. It's actually really cool. Makes it extra creepy. I'm just catching quick glimpses of myself. Whoa. And what are those noises? Like distant banging sounds and stuff. And scratching noises. I 
feel like I'm almost to my destination. What is that beneath me? Guess I met our god. Question is, was that a good thing or a bad thing? Given the rather creepy lead up to it, I can't help but feel as if maybe it was a bad thing. I don't know. Yeah, this game is freaking cool. So that's it. It's obviously a really short experience, but man, is that lovely. I just love the visual style of it. It really does remind me of Teleglitch. A lot. Now, they both have 3D worlds that have been filtered through some sort of a filter to make it look super pixely. But at the same time, you still have real-time lighting and all of that. It's just a really quick uh, mouse-controlled character movement sort of system. We can look in any direction you want and move independently of that. And uh, the lighting and the sounds are just impeccable. I mean, is this not gorgeous? It's beautiful, it's so creepy. And atmospheric. God lives underground. That is just... Uh, who knew the title of the game like that could be so terrifying? Just the way it's presented somehow just makes it seem like... dreadful. Like I just feel a sense of doom looking at that name. And just the small little details that they've done with those creatures. I want to go back to them. Yeah, the strange clicks that they make. And the fact that it's so pixely makes it hard to really see exactly what they look like. I can't quite tell what they are. They seem like insects, almost. But the way they behave, moving away from the light but then advancing behind you in the darkness, is just freaking creepy. Yeah, I'm incredibly impressed. I'm really amazed with how atmospheric and... Just atmospheric and, and creepy they've managed to make it. Just thanks to the, the lighting and the wonderful, uh, the wonderful art direction and the great use of sound, too. Perfect footstep sounds that just sound like they're echoing everywhere and the weird creaks and groans and just a low hum in the background. The clicks of these creatures. Which may or may not want to kill you. Incredibly impressive. Alright, so that has been Our God Lives Underground. Thank you for watching.